Hi, welcome to Arts and Crafts with Anish at Pocosin Public Library. And today I'm going to be showing you how to pick, how to use the shells you've picked up on your summer vacation to create a beautiful mosaic that you can remember that vacation by. The first thing to do when you get your shells home is to make sure that nothing is living in them. <laughs> and then to clean them, all you need to do is rinse them, keep them in fresh water overnight so that it gets all the salt and everything off of them and then take them out and let them dry off overnight again and then you have good shells to work with. Now if you want you can use just plain shells and these are some calico scallops I've picked up. This is what it looks like just plain but the exact same shell or same colors with some mineral oil on it if we can see that brings out the color so much more. So you can really see a difference there and a little bit of shine. But if you want to preserve it even longer, a little bit of clear poly will just lightly spray it over it. Also gives it a really beautiful color too. So um, if you want to have stronger color, that's what you wanna do. So I'll set those aside. After you've decided how you're going to preserve them, you need to know how you're going to put them down, and that means choosing an adhesive. You can use just a plain craft glue for smaller shells. Um, for larger shells, you need a thicker one. Um, I prefer to use hot glue gun just because I know it'll stick quickly and really adhere well. Um, you can use it on large and small shells and any little strings that come up, you can always um, clean up afterwards. Um, what I've done for the shells that I have is lay them out and I sprayed the poly over them so they have a nice shine. And to make a fairly simple mosaic, I just got a really nice little frame at the dollar store, put a colored paper in it, and because I can't draw a heart, I printed one and then traced it on here with pencil, and you can't really even see it when you're done. When you're gonna do a mosaic like this, you want to start by picking out the larger shells and placing the larger shells first to see how that's going to fit. And you may put them on and decide, you know, I don't really like that too much. Let me move these. And then you start putting in the sort of medium sized shells. And I love how that looks with the shine on it. Um, some of these and even just broken bits of shells you can put in and put them however you like. And when you get to the point where you've got the medium ones spread out, you'll need to fill in with small ones and those can go all the way out to the edge. And I'm not gluing these down because that would just take too long for us right now. But just setting them all the way along the edge and then fill in and you can have a really pretty picture just to hang on the wall or display or even for a gift. If you'd like to do something a little more challenging, you can take the shells and find a design that you like and I really love mermaids, so I, again, printed this out, and I have a piece of wood that I'm gonna hang it on, and this is the size of my wood, so I wanted to make sure this would fit. And then you take the shells and lay them out the way you want them to look when it's finished. So this is what I started doing, laying it out like this without the glue, and then once I had them as I liked them, I used hot glue to transfer them from this onto the wood that I finished it with. So these all lay over each other. They're stuck very well with that hot glue along with these. Raffia for the hair, you can see I made a mermaid. And that is just stuck on as well and a little bit tied. And it all sticks very well. I had just outlined or traced that outline onto here so that everything would fit. And honestly, once these were all colored and glued in, or once I'd cleaned them and colored them or shined them, putting them on only took about a total of an hour. And that's crafting with shells. Thank you.